September 6, 2010. 11pm. Can't believe what happened. Not sure if this is some kind of elaborate hoax. Despite the fear, I can't help but be exceptionally curious about this. Who or what is the statue? Lot of questions here. I'm starting this document as a diary so I can keep track of everything. I'm typing up a summary of what happened so I can come back to it later. September 7th, 2010. 2.10 a.m. Summary was posted here. You can go back and look at my first post for day 4.wmv for that. 4.23 a.m. I can't sleep. I've been trying so hard, but the harder I try, I just get more restless. I just feel like that statue is appearing whenever I close my eyes. 8.20 a.m. Didn't sleep at all. Just going to start my day. I don't think I have the energy to go to class today. I'm going to drive back down and talk to that old man. Taking my buddy Tyler with me just in case. 1.18 p.m. Back home now. No sign of the old man. Really weird that he appears to be moving the next day. But... Maybe the for sale sign was up there yesterday and I just didn't notice it. Tyler wants to know what's gotten me all worked up. I can't tell him. Going out to eat. Feel like death. 3.46pm. Could have sworn, driving back from Subway, that I saw the Elegy statue, buried in some shrubbery, staring at me go by. Now I definitely, definitely need sleep. 5pm. Don't think a lot of people would believe me if I told them about what's happening. Think I'm going to try posting this on the internet. Think I'll just use the summary. These notes are pretty sporadic. 6pm. Connected my capture card to my computer to upload the footage. Thought my computer froze for a second. Made this strange popping sound when I hooked everything up, but now it seems to be working fine again computer can't die on me now. 7pm. Footage is finished uploading. The quality's a lot better than I thought it would be. Gee, I guess this is a really special cartridge. I've never had it come through this clear before. 8.45pm. Thought I saw an icon pop up on my desktop that looked like the statue's face for a split second. Gave me quite a scare. Getting really unnerved and delirious. I'm going to crash after this. 9pm. Begin uploading my YouTube video on an alternate account. 9.03pm. I don't remember having uploaded a Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines video last year. This was probably the account that I shared with a friend of mine last summer. I hope he doesn't mind me using it to upload this. 9.55pm. Posting my summary of day four with a link to the YouTube video. I'm going to try and stay awake, but I'm so tired right now. September 8th, 2010. 10.48am. I had a dream about this statue. I dreamed that it was following me in my dream. That I would be minding my own business when I'd feel my neck hair stand up on end. I would turn around and that thing, that horrible, lifeless statue, would be staring with those empty eyes right at me, nearly inches away. In my dream, I remember calling it Ben, power of suggestion most likely, and never before had I had a dream that I could remember so vividly. 11.21 a.m. I really don't want to play this game again. I think I'm going to go back to see if that old man's there instead. 
1.35 p.m. No old man, but I had an interesting conversation with his neighbour. I'll post the full thing with my summary of tonight's attempt at playing the game. Going to wait for a bit though and see if I can't dig up any information on this Ben guy. 2.45 p.m. I've been getting random, inexplicable headaches due to the lack of sleep and keep hearing that song in my head. Also, it's flu season, so I need to be careful not to get sick. My immune system is going to be shit right now because of that all nighter. 3 p.m. 3.02 p.m. My computer just, on its own, opened up a text document and wrote the words hi and www.cleverbot.com by itself. What the fuck? 3.46 p.m. I went to the website. It's one of those bot chatting programs. I think it's best if I just let the conversation speak for itself. 